Hello everyone. Welcome to Just Math. Today we are going to know about our number system. Number system are the first thing which we are introduced in our early uh, early childhood. Like when we start our formal education, the first thing which we learn is either A B C or one two three. So today we are going to learn about the numbers which came to us around grade in grade fifth or sixth. So we'll learn here. Like what are prime numbers, what are even number, what are odd number. We are going to learn about these numbers today. So first of all, the first thing is what is natural number. Natural numbers. Natural numbers means the number which we use in our counting, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So these type of number are called natural numbers. The collection. or the symbol we used for the natural number is capital n now here i'll tell you the interesting fact about the natural number that the smallest natural number is 1 but there is no largest natural number if you say that 1000 will be the largest number no i can add 1000 plus 1 so next natural number will be 1001 like this 1002 maybe if you'll say that 1 million then i can add 1 million plus 1 so this then the next natural number will be 1 million 1 smallest natural number is 1 but the natural number goes to infinity and the symbol for natural number is capital n whole number what is whole number whole number if we add zero to our collection of natural number then we'll get a whole number so our natural number is This one, two, three, up to up to up to. Now my whole number will be. If I add the zero in this collection, one, two, three, four, up to up to up to. So this is my collection of whole number. Now here one important thing that the symbol of whole number is this W. the smallest whole number is 0 but here again we don't have any largest whole number now we'll learn about positive and negative numbers whenever we talk about positive numbers and negative numbers we need to think of these numbers means 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 we cannot say that 1.5 is a number no 1.1.5 1.5 will consider as a decimal number it won't be a perfect number so if we are talking about positive and negative numbers we'll only take the whole numbers like the whole numbers properly whole numbers okay now what is positive numbers positive numbers i'm trying to explain you through number line if this is a number line this is 0 1 2 3 4 Five. Okay, these are the going through. Now, now if we do reverse or opposite of this number, here one, but the reverse is minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four. So these number will be the smaller than zero also. It won't like greater than. If someone will ask you minus one is smaller than zero. one more important thing if we we'll move this one this minus 3 will be smaller than minus 2 so on so on so on if if i'll ask you this about minus 274 and minus 535 which one will be smaller we'll have to see the number this is big number but it has negative sign so minus 535 is smaller than minus 2 because it has negative it is going like opposite 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 so this is the negative numbers and these are the positive numbers we need to understand that zero is not considered in positive and negative numbers it doesn't consider it positive and negative numbers now every positive number has its negative number if someone will ask you negative number of 560 then 
minus 5 60 will be the negative of this 5 60. Every positive number has its negative number. Okay, I hope you understand the positive and negative number. About integers. What are integers? We have already know what are positive number, negative number. And uh, as I told you, we will not consider 0 as a positive numbers and negative numbers. But if I add or if we add 0 in the collection of positive numbers and negative numbers, we form a new collection called integers. So like this we know that these are the positive number, these are the negative number. But if I add in this collection 0, then I'm then we form a new group of numbers which is called integers and here the symbol of integers are z this is the symbol of integers i'll have to mention that there is no smallest integers no largest integers now let's learn what are even numbers as we are learning about the numbers and their name so the next thing is what are even numbers? Even numbers are those numbers which are exactly divisible by 2. Like we have already done that which number is divisible by 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So if I have a number and if that number is exactly divisible means there, there should not be any remainder then that number is considered as a even number. So let us take some example. If 525 if someone will ask you is this number an even number there are two methods first we'll divide this number by two we'll see whether it is completely divisible by two or not and the shortest way we'll check one's place if this number is zero two four six and eight then this number is considered as a even number if this number will be like uh, zero four this number then these the whole number will consider as a even number because it is divisible by 2. And now what, what is the smallest even number? 2 is the smallest even number. It is the smallest even number. Maybe you will ask if 0 then why not 0 consider as an even number because 0 is not divisible by 2 will not consider 0. So the first number is 1. Obviously 1, one, one won't be divisible by 2. The next number will be 2. 2 is completely divisible by 2. So this is the smallest even number. Okay. There is no largest even number. Numbers. What are odd numbers? Like the even numbers which are divisible by 2 are called even. Odd numbers are those numbers which are not divisible by 2. Suppose 1. 1 obviously is not divisible by 2. So, this is my odd number. 3. Is 3 divisible by 2? No. So, this is odd number. Up now, if someone will ask you 5, 1, 3, 2, 1. Is it odd number or even number? We will check. It's 1's place. This number is 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 9. No. So, this is not an even number. So, what about the odd number? We will also check 1's place. This number should be 1, 3, 5, 7, Nine. If these number will be uh, at its one place, then the whole number, the complete number will be called as a odd number. So few examples are 2, 1, 6, 1, 3, 99, 847. See the, the digit at the ones place. 1, 9, 7. Of the, these are not divisible by 2. So we will consider it as a or, odd number. So the number which are not divisible by 2 is known as odd number. The smallest odd number is 1. 1 is the smallest odd number. Prime numbers. Prime numbers are those numbers which has only two factors. Uh, factor means when we will divide a number, there are different different factors. If I divide 4, so so the factor of 4 will be 1, 2 and 4 because 1, 2 and 4 can exactly divide 4. So these are the factor of 4. Okay. So any number which has only two fact fact
factor like 1 and itself is called prime number. Let us take some example if I see 2. So if 2 has only 1 and 2, there are, there are only 2 factor, the 3, 1, 3. Is 3 is divisible by any other number? No. So these are the only factor of 3. So any number which has two factor 1 and itself are called prime number. Uh, let's take the number 17. And now we will find out the factor of 17. If we will start doing factorization, we will find that 1 and 17 are the only two factor of 17. But if I will see 18, the factor of 18 is 1, 2, 3, 6, 9 and 18. So you can see that there are 6 factor of 18. But 17 has only 2 factor, 1 and itself. So these type of numbers are called prime number. Hope you understand. The smallest prime number is 2 because we cannot, 1 has only 1 and 1 but this is the same. So we cannot take 1 as the smallest. So we will consider 2 as the smallest prime number. <clears throat> Let us learn about composite number. What type of number are called composite number? The number which has more than two factor are called composite number. Like in prime, if the number has only two factor, it's called prime numbers. In the composite, if it has more than two numbers. So like the previous example I have taken, the number 18. If I find out the factor of 18, this is 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, 18. So this has more than two factor. So this 18 is considered as, as a composite number. Similarly, 4. 4 will also consider as a composite number because this has 1, 2, 4. This is the factor of 4. So, it has more than 2 factor. But 3. 3 has only 2 factor. So, 3 is not a composite number. 3 is a prime number because it has factor 1 and itself. So, this type of number is called prime number. So, here this number is called composite which has more than two factor. I hope you understand the difference between prime number and the composite number because in further studies it is going to be useful for you. Let's learn about co-prime numbers. Co-prime numbers are those number which has only one as a common uh, factor like co-prime is always between two numbers. We cannot say one numbers. We will take two numbers and we'll check their factors. If the common factor is one, then the then those number will call as a co-prime. So let us take few example. We'll understand through some example. If I have this number, these three and four, so the factor of three is one and three, and the factor of four is one, two, and four. So the common between these two is only one. So these type of numbers are called co-prime numbers. Now, the next thing is that twin prime. Here we'll try to understand what are twin prime numbers. Again, this is not a single number. We'll take it as a pair of numbers. Like if we'll take two numbers, then we'll find out whether it is a twin prime or not. So as the name says, twin prime means two prime. So here, if two prime numbers, which has a difference like two, then those number are considered as the twin prime. Let us try to understand through example. So let's take two number. Uh, if I have 7 and 9, we know that these both are prime number. Okay. And their difference, it's 9 minus 7 is 2. So their difference is 2. Then this type of number are called twin prime. Let us take one more example like 13 and 11 this is again a prime number and their difference is 2 so this is also a pair of twin prime numbers again 19 and 17 say this is 
this is both of them are prime numbers and their difference is 2 so this is again a prime number so any two prime numbers which has difference as 2 then we'll say that uh, twin prime if there is I'll try to explain through like we can say that 5 is also a prime number and 9 is also a prime number check this pair their difference is 4 okay but both of them are prime number but their difference is 4 so this pair is not considered as a twin prime number twin prime means two prime which has difference as a 2 I hope you understand the twin prime concept I hope you understand the concept of number system in mathematical problems we'll later use it so try to understand about these number system and you can use it and in any way maybe someone will ask you what are even numbers prime numbers or twin prime numbers if you understand these concepts then you can solve your problems very easily thank you so much